I just see Periscope being the next thing, like the next Twitter, you know? Right. I mean, it's owned by Twitter, obviously, but yeah. it just, if you use, just in the short time that I used it, yeah. it was so cool. I mean, the comments that I was getting and the feedback that I was getting was so positive. That's why I kept doing it, too. So I was like, oh, people like this. People yeah. enjoy this. This is different. You know, it's not going to impede them from watching Golf Channel or the, bro True. the actual tournament. I don't think it only would pr maybe make them more interested, more interested in the people. watching it. Yeah, I guess the slippery slope, though, that they, they probably see is if, if they can see the live event, not, I know you're talking about practice, but if, yeah. if this were to be, you know, if you if they say to you it's okay to do practice, and then this person, and then, you know, whatever, they may see it as, you know, you could end up airing content, but I guess what what networks may think is if, if you can see the live event on your phone on this app, why would you ever come to the live event? Why would you ever watch the live event anywhere else? That's the sort of thing that I think the people who currently control the rights right. and control our ability to see sports are probably like, uh-oh. Well, it's about the experience. I mean, people still go to games, right? Yeah. Well, even, yeah, they could watch even the on NFL TV. is like, we need to get people in the stadium. What can we do to get them in the stadium? Okay, we'll have cheerleaders come to their seats for $10. They can get a cheerleader to come. Or we'll have, you know, an app that makes it so that you can check and see if there's a line at the bathroom. Like, they're doing everything they can right. to get people to still come to the games because now that HDTVs are such great quality, right. you can, it's actually a better, better experience to stay home. Right. So stadiums are freaking out, and Periscope must make stadiums horrified. Right, because if you can just Periscope, you can watch it on there. But exactly. like, again, it's back to the experience. You're gonna get a much better experience watching it on TV. It right. would like if I saw something on Periscope and I enjoyed it, I'd be like, oh I gotta get to a TV. Or I gotta get to like the closest Unless it sports was a, bar. A Floyd Mayweather fight. And, yeah, know, exactly. The then I'd be like, screw it. Yeah, right. Like who cares? Yeah. The other thing is policing it. How do you even start with well, you know, because they live for twenty four yeah. hours, like you said, and can't they only last a certain amount of time? I don't I don't know. I'll be watching something and it'll be like, this is over. And then you have to find another. And then right. that person probably just disappears into the fold. So who's right. really going to be able to say, well, Jonathan369, yeah. you're under arrest. Yeah, because fans at golf tournaments are allowed to bring their phones in now and take pictures. When did that become a... When a was few that? years ago, like 2009, 2000, 2010, 2010. Before 2010, you could not bring your phone to a no. golf tournament. No, you could not. Okay. I know. And then... Was there a basket? Did you leave your, <laughs> your phone? There was like a will call checkpoint. Thing. What? I, I, I think. I don't remember. What? Um, but That's nuts. The, US Op the USGA, which runs the US Open, they're just allowing f fans to bring phones for the first time this year. Um, last year was the first time the British Open allowed fans to bring phones, and they really encouraged it. Um, just, you know, with you their app. I encourage you to bring that thing you bring literally everywhere, everywhere. with you. Well, I think they Please realize that. that we don't, they finally realized in 2010, at least the tour did, that you, everything that we do is, is on my phone. phone. Yeah. And it's become increasingly so, you know, the way that, I keep saying, the way that we digest content right. and get our information and, you know, we're constantly engaging and, you know, sharing stuff. It's just such backwards thinking to be like, hey, we want to promote this event. Yeah. Don't bring the ability to communicate with the outside world. Right. Doors closed. Welcome to the golf tournament. Don't talk to anybody about it. Right. But anyway, let's get everybody talking about this golf. Like, it's not. But, it's, yeah. Wow. But they want, fa they want fans or they allow fans to take as many pictures and videos as they want during the practice yeah. rounds. I just don't understand why I the do. The media can't. I understand. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Again, I think it's back to the fact that they see us as competitors, and we're not. You know, we're only serving to promote the tour right. more. That doesn't make any sense to me, that fans can do it and that you can't. Yeah. That's, that's what I find fascinating. Right, it's bizarre. It's Yeah, you're right, it's got to be the competition part of it, because that's just, I mean, at first I thought the issue was just that they didn't want you to do it, and they could do it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know fans could do it. That's um, fucking stupid. That's, what that is. <laughs> that's really stupid. Um, thank you for having this conversation. It was yeah. just really cool to have a person who's affecting, you know, the national story in such a big way be able to come in and actually talk about it. So I really appreciate that well, because the show's not that relevant and you just made it <laughs> kind of relevant and that's uh, really, really awesome. I appreciate it. No, thanks for having me.